Does reality exist if we aren't looking at it? This question has puzzled philosophers and scientists alike for centuries. Today, we delve into the saga of how quantum mechanics, a field initially dismissed as philosophy or crackpottery, challenged the fundamental understanding of reality and emerged as the leading theory in physics, supplanting Einstein's four-dimensional space-time as the correct description of reality. As Nicholas Giesen, professor at the University of Geneva, Switzerland, stated, our result gives weight to the idea that quantum correlations somehow arise from outside space-time, in the sense that no story in space and time can describe them. In the early 20th century, classical physics, underpinned by reductive materialism, ruled the scientific world. Reductive materialism claimed that objects have definite properties independent of observation, implying that objects are locally real. This belief was challenged by quantum mechanics which proposed that reality is dependent on our observation of it. The journey to validate quantum mechanics was a decades-long struggle. The scientific community was initially skeptical of these ideas as they contradicted the accepted norms of physics. The road to acceptance was not easy, but it was paved with determination, curiosity, and unyielding belief in the power of science. In the 1970s, physicist John Clauser conducted groundbreaking experiments with entangled photons, challenging the concept of local realism. His work was a significant step forward, but it was just the beginning. The baton was then passed to Alain Aspect in the 1980s, who continued to build upon Clauser's work. Aspect's experiments further advanced quantum information science and established the violation of Bell inequalities, suggesting that objects are not solely influenced by their surroundings and may lack definite properties prior to measurement. In the 1990s and beyond, Anton Zeilinger took the reins and pushed the boundaries of our understanding of quantum entanglement. Zeilinger's experiments showed that particles lack properties prior to measurement and exhibit correlations regardless of distance, reinforcing the idea that the universe is not locally real. The tireless efforts of these three physicists culminated in the year 2022, when the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Clauser, Aspect, and Zeilinger. Their work proved that the universe is not locally real, a discovery that revolutionized the field of quantum information science and paved the way for advancements in quantum computing and quantum sensors. In summary, the decades-long struggle to prove quantum mechanics correct has been a journey of perseverance, scientific rigor, and the relentless pursuit of truth. It has overturned a primary presupposition of reductive materialism and shown that nature is not locally real. This journey has not only shaped our understanding of the universe, but also fundamentally altered the way we perceive reality. The work of Nobel laureates Clauser, Aspect, and Zeilinger has been instrumental in this journey, proving that the universe is not locally real. As the 2016 paper titled, Experimental Test of Non-Local Causality stated, Our results demonstrate that a causal influence from one measurement outcome to the other, which may be subluminal, superluminal, or even instantaneous, cannot explain the observed correlations. In short, the universe and everything in it is dependent on a cause that is completely outside of space-time. To state the obvious, theists have a cause to appeal to that is completely outside space-time, whereas reductive materialists and or atheistic naturalists do not. As Colossians 1 verse 17 states, He is before all things and by him all things hold together. So, the next time you gaze at the stars or wonder about the nature of reality, remember the fascinating tale of quantum mechanics and the scientists who dared to challenge the status quo of materialism. Because reality, as it turns out, and as these daring Nobel-winning scientists have now proven, is far stranger than was initially thought by atheistic naturalists.